there is something amazing that's going to be birthed inside of me. See, in order to birth something amazing, you got to remember these three C's. Someone say three C's. The first thing you got to do is you got to consecrate yourself. That means you got to set yourself apart. That means you got to set yourself apart from things that will contaminate your spirit and things that will contaminate your mind. So that when you begin to get focused in on the word of the Lord, when you get to get focused in prayer, when you get to get focused, amen, and, and communicating and fellowship with God, amen, you got to separate yourself from things that will mess your mind up and attract you. Consecration means to be set apart, means to be put aside. See, the reason why Zechariah and Elizabeth were even called forth, because the Bible says that they were upright, they were righteous in the sight of God. If you want to get God's attention, then you got to put yourself aside. you got to separate yourself from the things. Amen. you got to set your, separate yourself from some people. Amen. Sometimes people will mess you up. Come on, somebody. Can I go a little further? Sometimes church folks will mess you up. Oh, I know y'all didn't like that. Oh, that that's impossible. Oh, no, it's possible. If I got to listen to your same problem every single day, day in and day out, hallelujah, you're going to start messing with my spirit in just a moment, amen. Sometimes I got to separate myself, amen. And say, you're going to have to pray this one out yourself. You're going to have to read this one out yourself. You're going to have to walk this one out yourself. You're going to have to grow up. Someone say grow up. Grow up. That's it. Consecration without revelation equals no manifestation. Okay. Now watch this. Now watch this. You're in con we're in consecration. It's been about a month now. But if you have consecration and there's no results, then you got to look at what you're doing. Amen. There's got to be something that's got to have a little evidence. Amen. Wendy's had a commercial and they used to have a commercial that when the ladies came through and they picked up the hamburger and there was a small little patty, they used to say, where's the beef? You want to look at your name and say, where's the fruit? We've been in consecration for about a month now. And you got the same stinking attitude. You got the same tired praise. There should have been a little bit of a change. There should have been a smile somewhere. 